Hello, this is Greg with Boom Up Engineering. I just got a new hard hat in the mail and I came across some of my old ones, so I thought I'd do a quick video to show people some differences between lightweight carbon fiber hard hats and maybe carbon fiber hard hats that are not so light and how they can compare to fiber metal and plastic. Uh, everybody probably knows a plastic hard hat because most jobs hand them out, you know, they're cheap. And you'd be surprised, these are about as light as you're going to get for a hard hat. This, this hard hat here is a Pyramex. Uh, that's what my company handed out to me. And it weighs in at 376 grams. Nothing fancy, but it works. Uh, I don't like the headgear on these well, with this rear piece kind of flapping in the breeze. Uh, next on the list is a old fiber metal. This will have a skull guard ratchet suspension. Uh, this is an older hard hat, but I'm not aware of them really changing much. Other than the headgear, on the new skull guards are more similar to this Pyramex. They will have a pivot in the back, so you'll have this ratchet gear flapping in the breeze. And I don't like that. I do have a pencil holder on here. But weighing this, weighing this thing in, you're at 502 grams. So we go from 376 to 502 grams for a painted fiber metal. Um, you know... What's good about these is they're not made out of plastic, so if you're in a steel mill and they dump something hot on you or sparks or whatever, these are not going to catch fire and they're not going to melt to your head. So, good old school hard hat. Uh, it's quite likable. It's just a little bit heavy. Uh, but the ratchet suspension, again, they don't make this style anymore. Uh, and I don't think you can buy replacements. Okay. Next on the list, a lot of people have probably seen these lift carbon fibers. Um, they also come with a headband or suspension that I don't have. I, I think I threw it away. Um, again, they're more similar to the Pyramex with the uh, flopping uh, rear uh, ratchet adjuster in the back. Uh, this is a MSA Skull Guard suspension in there. Uh, it's got the metal clips to interface with the uh, studs on the inside. I'm sure your safety guy would have a heart attack with that. But this thing weighs in at, let's see, 420 grams. So it's, uh, let's see, it's over uh, 40 grams heavier than the plastic hard hat. So it's, it's and, and I've got the lightweight, simplified skull guard suspension in it. The... The suspension that comes with these, I find them pretty uncomfortable. Um, I mean, they work fine. They're heavy. they got a weird pad in the top that bears down on the top of your head. And I can't say I like it. It's a good-looking hard hat. You know, it's carbon fiber. It's got a nice, smooth finish. The inside has got a uh, sealed finish. Uh, you know, they're reasonably heavy-duty. They don't... I haven't had mine chip or break on the edges. Um... I don't know, they, they seem fine other than the paint fades a little bit, uh, fades pretty easily. And, uh, yeah, and the suspension isn't, I don't think it's that great. Last one on the list, the new one I thought I would try is a carbon fiber, let's see, carbon feather evolutions uh, hard hat. Now this one is light. We're weighing in at 313 grams. So this is, uh, plastic was 376. And this is 313 grams. Um, you know, just trying it on, I say it's comfortable. It sits nice and low on your head. It comes with a lightweight suspension system. It's adjustable, you know, ratchet adjustable. Uh, there's not really anything bad I can say about it. It, it. it fits nice. It does not have the pivots back here to where this is swinging all over the place. Some people might like that. Uh, I don't like it, so at least it comes with a decent suspension, and that keeps the overall cost down. You don't you don't feel like you want to swap it out, and it just keeps it uh, just like the manufacturer sent it. So there's no safety issues with modifying safety gear. Uh, it has some uh, some sort of tape lining the bottom brim here. I guess that makes it easier to hold on to. It's not well, it is that way. I guess the whole I guess the whole inside is kind of lined that way. 
with whatever this uh, tape is. Um, this is a blue, you know, a dark blue carbon fiber. It's a, it looks nice. They make black and blue and red, and they do mixtures. But um, you know, these things are gonna run you oh, 150 or 160 dollars. But so do the lifts. The lifts aren't any cheaper. Uh, might even be slightly more expensive. And then again, I, I like this headgear better. Again, this is the carbon fiber, or excuse me, carbonfeatherevolutions.com. Uh, it says it's assembled in the USA. I don't know what all that means. I think the shells are made in the USA. I imagine the suspension's not made in the USA, but who knows. It's got a date, date stamp in the top there. Uh, pretty good stuff. So that's about all I have to say about that. Like I say, I like the lifts, but they're not any cheaper. They're heavy, heavier. Let's see. Fiber metal was 502. Lift was 420. So this is this is a fair bit lighter than a fiber metal. Um, if you have some neck injuries, you may notice that on a day of wearing a hard hat. I know I do. Uh, you know, had some whiplash, cases of whiplash with car accidents and motorcycles and all that. So it is noticeable. If you got any questions, leave some comments below. Thanks.